You need to understand this before it's too late. I'm sure you're aware that there are many different crypto networks and blockchains out there and new ones keep popping up. It's getting to the point where it becomes overwhelming to choose the best network for sending transactions or building apps on. Of course, you probably have a few names in mind that claim to be the fastest or cheapest network. And a lot of these networks can handle simple transactions between individuals. But what about when the trading volume increases significantly? Imagine millions of users sending and receiving crypto over a single network and add in large businesses that need to manage and send greater amounts of money at a time. Unfortunately, the world's largest crypto networks aren't equipped for this kind of load. Think about it. During times of high demand, Ethereum's network fees start to climb up and we've seen the Solana network go down in February, which is the 11th time in two years. So what networks are capable of handling higher demand? Well, this is exactly what enterprise level blockchains and DLTs are built for. And in this video, I'll cover three examples that I believe have long-term potential. Welcome back to another episode of Fire Hustle. My name is Summer. I talk about all things crypto and share my personal strategies as we head into the bull cycle. I just launched the Fire Hustle VIP Discord for those who want early access to private token sales for new projects. You'll also get to see my personal portfolio moves, access exclusive giveaways, and much more. Check out the link in the description to learn more. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and most importantly, hit that shiny bell notification button. And as always, please remember that none of this is financial advice. So I mentioned enterprise level DLTs, distributed ledger technologies. These are networks designed with the needs of large businesses and corporations in mind. Unlike everyday individuals that might transfer small amounts of money at a time, large enterprises deal with significant amounts of money and large transactions are often part of their business. I'm talking multi-million dollar transfers. Not only is it important to have a secure system for transferring this money, but speed and cost are big factors to consider as well. Traditional systems have made money transfers not just costly because of bank and currency exchange fees, but also a slow process that could take several days to complete, especially when transactions are taking place between different countries. Now, there are several crypto projects that were designed to replace these outdated real world systems, and I'll discuss a few that I've personally been adding to my own portfolio. Let's start with number one, Hedera. So this is an open source distributed ledger that uses hashgraph technology to secure the network. Information is spread across the network of nodes that form a DAG based system and this is done through what's called the gossip protocol. Nodes are overlooked by members of the Hedera governing council consisting of 39 global industry leaders. This includes big names like Google, Ubisoft, IBM and Boeing. Now Hedera's hashgraph technology is capable of processing up to 10,000 transactions per second but this is an artificial limit. The co-founder of Hedera, Limon Baird, revealed that the network speed can be increased as the demand and increases, but a TPS speed of 10,000 is more than enough to operate smoothly for now. Now, Hedera has formed some significant partnerships over the years, including with Flutterway for USDC payments from the US and Canada to Africa. Drop, a micropayment platform on Hedera, is the first crypto business to partner with the US Federal Reserve's FedNow for instant payments. And Aberdeen, a council member managing over $600 billion, plans to tokenize its market fund on Hedera with Archax. This pushes Hedera into the RWA tokenization narrative, which is expected to explode in the coming years. Now, recently, we learned that Hedera was the top crypto network choice for developers for two months straight, according to analytics put together by Santiment. And there are some big names on this list, so this is a pretty huge deal. You're probably familiar with Karate Combat, where professional fighters and even crypto influencers go head to head in live fighting events. This project is built on the Hedera network, and these live events have definitely definitely attracted more attention to the Hedera ecosystem. So clearly, Hedera is doing a lot to get their name out there. Now, the price action for the HBAR token over the last year was pretty positive, and we saw an overall upward trend. The price hit a peak a few months ago, and now over the month of June, the price started to roll back down. This is true for most of the crypto market, as we're seeing some pretty big pullbacks currently, but the all-time chart reveals that HBAR is nowhere close to where it used to be last bull run. Now, if Hedera continues to attract more users, users and takes part in more collaborations, we could see a healthy bounce back on this chart 
after the market hits a bottom and turns around. Okay, on to the second pick for today, the Constellation Network. This is also a DAG based network like Hedera and the native altcoin is named DAG for this reason. Now, Constellation Network is focused on managing big data, which includes AI, machine learning, and government data. This is a project that's been quietly advancing its technology through the bear market and they introduce metagraphs, which are like independent networks within the main Constellation Network ecosystem. So metagraphs can interact with complex data from any source, even from the real world, and undergo processing and validation. An example use case is through a product they launched called Door. So this is a device that mines crypto based on foot traffic, both in commercial and retail locations. Door collects data to understand human behavior and improve daily life, and this data is processed through an independent metagraph. Now, the hypergraph is what powers the entire ecosystem. It's basically like a network technology that's structured as a DAG and it supports infinite horizontal scalability, allowing it to process increasing data volumes. So the network is supposed to increase in speed as more data comes through. Now, this technology has earned government recognition and they were able to secure contracts to build data exchange platforms for the US Air Force. And most recently, they also partnered up with Forward Edge AI. This is an AI tech company that's also trusted by the government and financial institutions. Their goal is to provide a secure future for the field of artificial intelligence, which continues to grow rapidly every single day. And this is in the form of a blockchain solution for managing and verifying data at the enterprise level. Now, taking a look at the price chart for DAG, there's clearly been a ton of action going on over the last year. We saw a massive plan that started at the end of 2023 and peaked in March of this year. This brought the price from about two and a half cents to over nine cents. And then from here, the price started to pull back down. We're now back to about three cents at the time of this recording. Now, similar to HBAR, the price was a lot higher in the last bull run. But remember, DAG is a lot smaller than HBAR with the market cap currently under $100 million. So there's potentially more room for growth here. And especially if we start to see Constellation Network being implemented in more enterprise level use cases. I actually started to follow DAG and began adding it to my portfolio over a year ago. And anyone that got in when I first talked about it would have seen an incredible gain already from the recent climb. And I share all of my portfolio moves in the Firehouse of VIP Discord, along with exclusive opportunities, giveaways, and much more. You can learn more about the VIP Discord by following the link in the description at wap.com forward slash firehustle. And finally, the third project I'll discuss today is Casper. So Casper is a public proof of stake blockchain aimed at bringing businesses into Web3. It's a project ecosystem that's formed several solid partnerships and collaborations. Some big names you might recognize are IBM, Amazon Web Services, WiseKey, and Google Cloud. Casper's notable technology includes upgradable smart contracts, allowing businesses to update their data as needed, unlike traditional immutable contracts. They use widely known coding languages like Rust and WebAssembly, which is important for mass adoption of Web2 developers. The Casper network currently uses a consensus system called the Highway Protocol to secure its network. But everyone's waiting for this big Casper 2.0 network upgrade. And this will come with enhanced security measures and an even smoother onboarding process for businesses. The upgrade is taking place in stages and we're now waiting for the final stage to go live, which is called Condor. There's no set date for this yet, but we're expecting the upgrade to be fully completed sometime later this year. Now, in recent news, the Casper team announced that they'll be integrating their Prove AI product with IBM. Prove AI is a system that uses the Casper network to create transparency and provide more control over their AI training data sets. This collaboration gives the Casper team access to IBM's set of tools and resources. Now, looking at the price chart for Casper, it also saw some nice green action around the time HBAR and DAG had their big climbs this cycle. But again, there's a major pullback happening right now. And in Casper's case, the pullback is more severe. It's negative in the last year and Casper actually set an all-time low a week ago. So things look a little bit scary for current holders and it makes you wonder if it's even worth getting into an altcoin that hasn't gained any ground yet in the current crypto cycle. But another way to think about this is that Casper just hit its lowest point and it might be close to finding its bottom. So when the market turns around, Casper could see a big bounce back. Of course, there are a lot of factors involved and the biggest one is how Casper will perform as an enterprise blockchain solution. The 2.0 upgrade will definitely help push this ecosystem forward and promote more adoption in the real world, but we'll have to wait and see how things go for both the project and the crypto world. Now with so many different networks and blockchains in the Web3 space, it's hard to choose which is the best one to use and build 
down, especially for large corporations and businesses that have large amounts of money at stake. This gives enterprise level networks an advantage over the rest as they're built to handle large transfers and provide high grade security. I seriously believe this is still an untapped narrative and these price charts can really go flying when the rest of the world realizes the benefits of using an enterprise grade network. Now I only mentioned three projects in this video that I personally follow but there are several other promising projects out there that are worth mentioning. Let me know if you want a follow up video covering some of these other enterprise grade projects with high potential. And that's all folks. If you want to know what altcoins I'm getting into, check out the Fire Hustle VIP Discord group. I post my own portfolio moves there whenever I buy or sell altcoins. And as a member, you also get exclusive early opportunities for new and upcoming projects and much more. Follow the link below to learn more. And if you want more videos like this, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Remember, the crypto space comes with a high risk and none of this is financial advice. I highly recommend that you do your own research before deciding to invest. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.